Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see GitLab Docker Executor and within that GitLab Docker Executor, we will see that how to connect a Python primary image container with MySQL service image container. We will extend our last session of GitLab Docker Executor using services keyword. We will see that how we can connect Python to MySQL and once the connection has been done, how can we create tables and how can we store data into that particular table? Let's start it. So in last session, we had seen usage of services keyword from config.tuml file on the guest machine so that the machine on which GitLab runner has been installed and registered. And we had also seen that how we can get the required details to connect primary and secondary image containers that we have mentioned in image and services keywords respectively. So what we are going to see in today's session. So in today's session, we will see usage of services keyword from .gitlab-ci.yml file. We will see uh, uses of variables keyword as well. So variables keyword will be used uh, to pass the required environment variables and their corresponding values to the mentioned image containers okay so uh, like whenever these containers will run any image they will already get predefined environment variables and their corresponding values also we can define variables keyword uh, in two different ways so that which variables uh, will be either accessible by all the jobs of particular pipeline or they can also be accessible or we can restrict these variables to be accessible by specific job of the pipeline so that's also we will see some extra portion uh, that i would like to cover over here is gitlab by default uh, uses bridge method to connect different image containers so there are different other methods available as well to connect different image containers uh, that is uh, like host container and network so today we are not going to see all these option in depth okay and these are the references that i will uh, also uh, mention in the description box so that i have used to create this ppt so yeah now let's see connection of python with mysql in practical first of all we will see dot gitlab dash ci dot yml file which is available on my host machine so this is the dot gitlab dash ci dot yml file of my project where uh, i am using only single stage that is the test stage variables so as i have mentioned that we can define variables in two ways first way these variables will be accessible by all the jobs the variable section if you have mentioned over here so this is my job name taste underscore stage so if you have mentioned variables before any job name before all the respective job names so in that case that variables and their uh, respective values will be accessible by all the jobs but if you have mentioned variables within the job so over here you can see that Again, I have mentioned variables. So in this case, when you have mentioned variables within any job, in that case, that particular variables and their values will be accessible by that particular job only. And it will not be accessible by any other job. So over here, what I want to say is, I don't want debug press, so hence it's false. Then this is my job name. It's stage uh, is taste variables. So uh, like in earlier session, we had used config.tuml file to provide these variables but in this session we are going to mention them in .gitlab-ci.yml file so my sql database that i want to create when the image container will start is python test root password is abc123 username is nayan and password is also nayan now before script so this statement will tell gitlab ci cd that before executing any other scripts, I want to execute this particular command. So in my case, I want to install MySQL Python connector before any other script gets executed. Tags, so this keyword tells that uh, I want to use Docker tester GitLab runner to run this CICD pipeline image. So I want to use Python as my primary image services so I want to use MySQL as my services image or secondary image and I want to connect Python with MySQL. And then script 
tag or script keyword so over here i will uh, print the details of etc host from environment command i am extracting all the variables which contains the name mysql and finally i will run a python script so this python dash u so dash u means uh, i want to print i want to showcase all the std in and std out that is standard input and standard output on my console line. and then i want to run with this dash u option one python script so now let's see this python script so in this python script uh, first of all i will import mysql connector for python so if you can see in this dot yml file i have already installed the required packages to connect python with mysql so i will import that particular package then os and time package i will import now what i have done is i have put this entire script execution on hold for 10 minutes the reason being when the mysql container will start it will not be available for use for some few minutes so it may be 5 8 or 10 minutes so for this particular interval that mysql container mysql services will not be available hence we need to wait for a few minutes so that we can access mysql services of mysql container okay so in case if you are not going to uh, wait for mysql services to be online or to be accessible in that case you will get this error that mysql connector errors interface error can't connect to mysql server or you can see on the screenshot that you will get an error like this so in this uh, screenshot first of all i have been connected to the uh, mysql image container then from that mysql image container i have tried to execute mysql command and it has provided me error that can't connect to mysql server why because at that time mysql service was not available hence we need to put script execution on hold for few minutes so that we can access mysql services after this uh, hold time uh, we will be able to connect to the mysql services so again i am using environment variable called mysql port 33060 tcp addr so how i have got this particular environment so that i have already shown in my last video so you can refer that particular video that how can we get this particular environment variable in its value so i will extract that particular uh, ip address from that environment variable then a uh, user nine password nine and database python underscore test so you can see that these are the variable names that i have already provided in my dot yml file so these are the variables so using these variables i will try to connect with mysql services again uh, over here uh, in this host name either i need to provide localhost or ip address or domain name so if mysql service has been there on the same container on which python is running then i can say localhost but as it is running on the another isolated mysql container in that case i have only two ways either i need to provide ip address or domain name so over here i am providing the ip address that i will get from this environment variable okay then um, i will create a cursor that will open a mysql connection so that we can uh, execute different operations on mysql database finally i will create a table so create table customers over here id will be of integer data type with auto increment and it will be served as primary key then name will be of where care and its length will be 255 characters again address will be of where care data type and it will have 255 characters after this we will uh, insert different values to this table called customer so for that the command we will use is insert into customers so that is a table name name and address these are the column names and value so these are the values like nine one nine one two three four and respective address and then finally as i am inserting uh, many values hence i will use this query uh, mysql cursor dot execute many if it was only single value in that case i can use mysql cursor dot execute but as i am inserting many values hence execute many then the sql command and respective values okay so this is the mysql cursor that we have defined over here so using that cursor we are 
executing this SQL query. Finally, we will commit the changes so that they can be written to the database table. And this last time dot slip of 30 minutes is just to show you that uh, rather the data has been inserted or not. So in this uh, 30 minutes gap, we will go to the MySQL container and we'll see that rather that table and the values are there or not. Okay, so this is my uh, CICD YML file and Python script. Now we will see the config.tuml file. So over here, I am using Ubuntu as my guest machine on which I have installed and registered GitLab runner. So let's see uh, config.tuml file first. Okay, so as you can see that I have removed all the, uh, let's say, uh, environment keyword, uh, then uh, this image keyword and services section from this Docker runner okay so this is my config.tuml file now i will uh, push the changes to the gitlab repository okay as soon as i have pushed the changes to gitlab repository let's go to the dashboard okay and over here i will refresh the page so you can see that i have now got the new job to be executed on my guest machine so right now it is showing in the pending stage this job has not started yet. Uh, so if you are getting uh, this kind of issue, like this job is in pending state and is waiting to be picked by a runner, in that case, check two things. One is uh, from this uh, settings, uh, CICD, go to this uh, runner section, expand it, and see if your uh, specific runners are online or not. So right now they are online. So next thing that you need to see is, or you need to do is go to the guest machine, and over here, execute this command sudo gitlab runner run. So now you can see that it has received the new job. Okay. And if you see it uh, dashboard, okay, now it has started to execute the CICD pipeline on guest machine. Over here, uh, as I have already executed this CICD pipeline, hence uh, I have already got Python and MySQL images on my guest machine. Hence, it will not go to fetch or pull these images from Docker Hub. It will use already available images. Over here, as you can see that I have got this error that could not resolve host uh, gitlab.com. So let's uh, see that how can we resolve it. Okay, so finally, after restarting the system, I am able to proceed in this CICD pipeline. So till now, I have used uh, three ways. One is to restart the GitLab runner on guest machine. Second is to restart the Docker services on my guest machine, but none of the two methods. Then finally, I have to restart my system, and now I am able to proceed ahead with this CI/CD pipeline. Okay, so now as you can see that uh, in that CI/CD pipeline, uh, yeah. So in this CI/CD pipeline, uh, we have uh, used this particular uh, script where first of all we have installed MySQL connector for Python. So you can see that. Over here, uh, this uh, SQL connector has been installed on my Python primary image container. Then uh, on the same primary Python image container, we have executed this command. So we have got the value of etc host. So these are the values that are there in uh, etc host file. Yeah. And finally, by using this env command, we have extracted all the variables having MySQL name in there so we are getting this all the names and finally uh, like we are executing then uh, python script so if you see over here this python script is now being executed from python primary image container now over here if you see we have used this environment variable to get the post ip address of mysql so you can see over here we have used this particular environment variable so we will use this particular value to connect python to mysql and uh, before uh, executing this connection command we will wait for 10 minutes so over here the script right now is uh, on wait for 10 minutes so now let's go to the guest machine over here i will open the new tab and execute this command sudo docker ps a so it will tell me how many containers are running it present okay so it present two containers are being executed one is this container so it is my python image container second is this container which is of mysql image container okay 
So now what I will do is I will connect to my SQL container sudo docker execute it then the name of or id of the container so this is the container id and then i want to start with bash shell okay so now i am in mysql image container i will now execute this mysql command and you can see that right now i am getting this error that can't connect to this server on this socket the reason being till now the mysql service is not up and running so hence we need to wait for a few minutes so that this MySQL service is up and running and we can utilize it in my uh, sorry in Python container. So let's wait for a few minutes. Okay, so now as you can see that uh, now we are getting this new error like access denied for user. So now MySQL service is up and running so that now we can access this MySQL service from mysql container as well as from python container so now what i will do is i will execute this command mysql dash u that stands for uh, username so i will use nyan username then i will prompt for password and then i want to connect with python based database okay it will ask me for the password so password is nyan and as soon as i have executed this command now I am able to connect with my SQL Python underscore test database using Nyan user and the password. Now I will uh, execute this command so tables. So at present you can see that there are no tables in this particular database. So we need to wait for a few more minutes till Python execute that uh, table creation command and insert all the values in that particular customer table so as i have provided 10 minutes wait time in python script so uh, let's wait uh, for a few more minutes now let's execute show tables command again so as you can see that now python has created a new table called customers in this mysql container in this mysql database now uh, let's see what is there in this table as you can see that all the respective values has been returned to this customers table like nine one two three four and respective address and this id was the primary key with auto increment so it has been uh, created automatically this is how you can connect python to mysql using gitlab docker executor and using image and services keyword that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video